Good evening, beautiful souls. I hope you're having the most amazing day. We are in this energy. I just wanted to come on and do an energy update. I haven't been on in about a week and remind everybody to take time out to care for yourself. We get so busy in this life on the earth plane that sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves. This world is really challenging a lot of people right now and I don't mean challenging in a negative way because everything is just how we perceive it right everything's subjective to our own belief system what I'm feeling hearing and seeing though is we're past this balance point in the world like we've gone from so oppressed to so liberal that we're almost becoming oppressive again. And I'm not gonna talk politics, I'm not gonna talk anything like that. Everybody lives in different parts of the earth plane, so it's different, but society is becoming very victim focused. Once again, it's funny, it goes through these waves and I'm seeing a lot of victim mentality come out and a lot of just feeling sorry for ourselves and we don't wanna do that. We want to nip that in the bud as quick as we can and realize that the, the only person to ever change is self. We can't force anybody around us to see things from our point of view. We can't force anybody else to change unless we want to. We can work within ourselves to shift the dynamics of relationships around us. We can work within ourselves to shift the dynamics of ourself in tune to these relationships. We are in this beautiful energy um, coming into Piscean energy right away. We're still in this Aquarius energy, which is just all about this thinking on a different level that's what my daughter's an Aquarius son and it's just like this this beautiful melding of like this logic and like paired with this outside the box thinking which is such a conundrum in this earth plane we're we're being we're seeing a lot of challenging around us and like I said, I don't mean that in a negative sense. Challenge is great. Challenge is what facilitates growth in anything that we do in life. Like think about the times when you're complacent, life's just easy. It is great, but we don't grow, we don't expand because we don't have to. Um, we need to be challenged. We need to challenge ourselves. We need to see things from a higher perspective. And when I say higher, I don't mean better than or above. I mean a, a bird's eye view perspective of what's actually going on around us, within us, and pairing to the outside of us. Because whatever, as within, so without, as above, so below, one of the laws of the universe, one of the hermetic principles, so important to remember this. I just heard those words in my mind boom last night, as within, so without. Everything is a mirror for our experience. Everything is a mirror for our assumptions. Everything is a mirror to look within and challenge ourselves. If you're being, if you're struggling, good, bad, ugly, ask yourself, ask your highest self, how can I remedy this? I have stopped using the word fix because there's nothing to be fixed. I like the word remedy because it, 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 it denotes a different energy. We're creating a remedy. We're creating a tincture within ourselves to release. If there's a blockage within our energy system, if there's a blockage within our mind, our emotional body, we are releasing to come back into our flow state. I see so many miracles around me daily. And when we begin to be grateful for the little miracles in our lives, um, I'll give you a great example. I'm redoing my main floor of my house right now and I need a new hearth for my fireplace. And we were talking about it the other night and reaching out to people, you know, who do this type of thing, you know, raw wood mantle and nobody was getting back. And then yesterday a friend offered a mantle, a raw cedar piece to us. And it's like, wow, this is just setting that intention and knowing that it's gonna come to you. And the beauty of life is it comes in the most expected ways. It comes in the most unexpected circumstances when we are open to receive. And that's the key, being open to receive. We're so fixated on giving in this life. We're taught that giving is the only way. And yes, never stop giving when you have the energy to give, but you also have to complete that circuit and be open to receive. Think about it right now, about somebody offering you help or assistance. Does that make you uncomfortable? If you answered yes, there's something you need to work on within yourself of being worthy to receive. Be worthy, you are worthy. You are so worthy to receive. And I'm going off on a tangent because that's what I do. Remember within yourself, 
is where the universe is created. You are one with the stardust. You are one with every planet star that you see twinkling out there. We are all made of the same electrons, the same dust, the same atoms. We are made of it all. We are one with the all. We are one with the God source. Not saying we are gods, but we are gods of our reality. All is mind. All is mind. It's such a beautiful thing. All is mind. Remember that the next time you see a challenge come up in your life and ask yourself, how am I perceiving this? What am I thinking about this? And if it's the worst case scenario, shift that thinking to the best possible outcome in the situation. It looks like I'm just a floating head right now in my car. <laughs> but remember that remember that and release the resistance and what does that mean that means just let go putting too much importance on anything will stop you from having that come to you in the most unexpected way forcing things will stop the best possible outcome to come to you trust me trust me i know these things i've had it happen in my life if you want to hear about somebody who's been through shit in their life that is me shifted my mindset I remember one day, I, I used to say back in the day when things were really not good in my life, things can't get any worse. And my higher self, before I believed in anything higher than me, before I understood my own power, I woke up one day and I all I heard was, start saying things can only get better. Things are better. And I started saying that subconsciously, consciously and subconsciously, my life started to shift there. It was like a pivot point in my life, understanding what my power is, what my role is, how I perceive things around me is what creates things, how I assume. Do I want the worst? Well, then I should assume the worst. Do I want the best? Well, then I should in turn assume the best about any situation, any person, any relationship, any circumstance. Start to assume the best. Anyway, I love you. I could talk for hours. I will come back on and update you guys again. I'm going to do a video on the map of consciousness. I posted something about that not too long ago, about the different levels of consciousness and the energetic resonance that go along with them. But as of right now, I'm going to let you out. You can see the beautiful skyline of Calgary behind me. I'm just north of downtown. It's beautiful. I love you. Namaste. Have a beautiful evening, morning, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. Bye.